What's going on guys? So this video uh, is going to be about probate. I'm recording this a, f a week or so after the next video you're going to see, uh, which is going to be me heading out to the courthouse to uh, pull some probate leads. And I'm going to just basically break down what uh, probate is and how it kind of works. I was initially going to do a like a step by step video of what wholesaling is and how you do it and the whole process. I think I'm going to skip that. Uh, maybe I'll do that in a future video and just kind of get down to like what's really happening on a day to day uh, basis in my business, what I'm doing. So we're going to be doing a lot of appointment runs, hopefully um, seeing a lot of properties, talking to sellers all that fun stuff. I know most people, for the most part, they know what wholesaling is. At least if you're, you found this channel, uh, you know what wholesaling is. Um, and if you don't, <clears throat> again, like I said in my last video, there's plenty of information out there. And maybe in future videos, I will do like a step-by-step step -step, uh, tutorial of what wholesaling is and how it works and whatnot. But for now, we're gonna just stick to uh, probate and uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. And that's been my money maker and how I've found all of my deals. So if you're looking to get into real estate, I highly recommend starting with probate. They're very good leads. You can get them yourself. You just gotta put in a little extra legwork. So let's get in the car, get moving, and I'll see y'all later. Currently on the way to the Palm Beach Courthouse to go and sweet talk the receptionist there and dig up some probate leads. <clears throat> so I've already hit up the uh, Broward County Courthouse and was able to access the website there and get everything that I needed. So I got everything figured out from Broward and so now I'm gonna head to Palm Beach County Courthouse and try to do the same thing. So basically uh, what probates are, so when somebody passes away, somebody else is named the personal representative of the estate. And that's who we are looking for. So a lot of times, um, you know, grandma passes away, or mom or dad passes away, whoever it may be, they leave somebody in charge of the estate, that's the personal representative, and then they're in charge of the entire estate. And a lot of times there are houses involved in that estate, and there can be some motivation there with sellers because <clears throat> what happens is a lot of times the houses are extremely out of date, or they're in really rough shape, maybe the the personal representative lives out of state. You know, maybe he lives in Texas and doesn't want to come down to Florida or Maryland or wherever your market may be to deal with selling the house. You know, we're, we're looking to find out immediately if they have motivation to sell for a cash offer or to sell the house quickly. You know, if they want to list it and sell it with an agent and go the traditional route, please, by all means, go ahead. You want to find that out immediately. And if that's the route that they're looking to take, you know, you give them their options, what you can provide. And, you know, if, if that's what they want to do, then so be it. You know, dead lead, move on to the next one. So, yeah, basically, we just drive out to the courthouse. You're going to want to speak to the receptionist there and just you know, ask questions. Usually they don't, they kind of understand. There's a lot of people that go in there. I mean, a fair amount of, of investors that go in there and look um, for probate leads or whatever. But you're gonna wanna just ask them, hey, um, can you show me how to access the website? Or can you show me how to look through the, the probates for the month of whatever? 
I always pull every two weeks. That's what I was doing in Maryland. That's probably what I'll be doing here. I'll have my virtual assistant access through the county website. Ideally, Palm Beach will have a county website that you can just access them through on. And then I could just assign the task to my virtual assistant. Uh, but if you, in your city or county, you have to go, you know, you may have to go and just open the book and write them down one by one from the book. You know, it's kind of a pain when you have to do that, but if that's what you gotta do, that's what you gotta do because these are very, these are very good leads. They're direct from the courthouse. So those are gonna be the best things that you wanna target. And it's kind of been my specialty, my go-to for finding deals is, was probate. So I'm gonna make sure that, you know, I master that out here in South Florida as well. It's much bigger over here. You know, right now I'm only gonna be focusing on Broward County and Palm Beach County, and probably go into Dade County eventually. Once I can learn Spanish, you gotta know Spanish out for Dade. Really in South Florida in general, you, sh you, should, you should be bilingual. So for now, just focusing on Broward and Palm Beach County, and you can really get plenty from those two counties because they're, they're pretty big. Yep, heading out there, gonna see what we can dig up, see what we can find out, and hopefully we can get it all figured out today, get access to the website, and train my virtual assistant how to upload the files into an Excel sheet. And you take the Excel sheet and you skip trace it. And skip tracing, you're just getting, uh, it's a service that you pay for to get phone numbers. And then we're going to cold call those phone numbers. You know, it, it can be touchy when you're dealing with probate because obviously a loved one has passed away. But you know, a lot of times you're helping people out in this situation. I can't tell you how many times that I've called a, a seller or a personal representative and they are just ecstatic that I'm helping them with the situation that they don't wanna deal with. You know, especially in, in Baltimore, I don't know if it's gonna be the same out here, but in, in Maryland, there were so many beat up houses that were in such bad shape in the middle of the city these people didn't even want to go there. Like they didn't, they're like, no, my whoever was a hoarder. I don't even want to see that house. I don't want to step foot on that house. Make me an offer right now and let's lock it up and just get it done with I don't want to deal with. It. And that's, that's ideal. That's great motivation. And that could be a quick, it could be a quick deal as long as there's not a bunch of heirs involved. But um, yeah, so with dealing with probate, it can be a touchy subject. You don't want to just go in there and be like, hey, I heard uh, your dad died. You want to sell that house? You know, for me, when I call, I don't. I try not to even mention it. I just say, hey, my name is Kyle. I'm a local real estate investor in South Florida. Looking to buy some more houses. I'm just wondering if maybe you had a house for sale. And a lot of times they'll ask, where did you get this number? How did you get my number? And usually what I'll say there is just say, well, you know, we pull a bunch of data and information from the local courthouses. You know, we look for people who are out of state owners, uh, maybe somebody who inherited a property, that would be the probates. You know, you, you just say, we pull a bunch of data and you keep it very vague. But I just like to throw in there, yeah, we contact people who might've inherited properties. And a lot of times people will be like, oh yeah, no big deal and kind of tell you about the house. And then other times, you know, somebody, you know, a loved one may have passed away unexpectedly and they get upset about it. They might curse you out, tell you F you, you're a piece of shit, how dare you. The point, my condolences, I'm sorry, I apologize. If anything changes and you want to sell the house or anything, you can give me a call back and have a good evening. Sometimes these people are in a tough situation or whatever and they're upset, so. Just try to be respectful about it and everything like that. So yeah, those leads can be very motivated. They're, they're great leads. They come directly from the courthouse. So you can get them immediately as they come out. Do a little extra work, go out to the courthouse yourself and you can pick up the leads. So I don't wanna ramble on too much about that. And uh, let's go see what, if we can find uh, some nice probate leads.
So that's basically it for the probates. The next step that you would want to do is get your data skip traced. So you can use a number of services. The one that I typically use is REI Skip. Just go to the website, www.reiskip.com. You're going to create an account, and then you're gonna just input the first name, the last name of the personal representative, the address, the city, the state, and the zip code. Uh, get as many as you can. Hopefully you got at least a few hundred, maybe two, three hundred, maybe more. Uh, and then you're going to upload them to REI Skip and you're going to pay to have them skip traced. You'll get a phone number for each personal representative. It's not very expensive. I think it's like four cents per uh, phone number. I, don't quote me on that. Um, it's not expensive at all. It shouldn't cost you more than like $80 or $100 for the amount of data that you'll be uploading. Um, it'll only take maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it'll spit out a bunch of phone numbers and then you can either hand dial each one of those numbers or you can use a dialing system. Uh, I use Mojo Dialer, that's like $150 a month and it'll call three numbers at a time. So it speeds things up but it's you don't have to, you can hand dial each number. But a lot of times per lead, you're gonna get three to five phone numbers uh, so it does benefit you to upload it into a dialer as far as efficiency and speed. But yeah, after that, you can just get on the phone, call these people. And for me, uh, what I use, uh, it's not even a script, but I just say, hey, my name is Kyle. I'm a local real estate investor here in South Florida. Just wondering if maybe you had a house for sale. And then you can just go from there and just try to set up appointments try and talk to sellers. If you're brand new to this, my best advice is just do the best you can and fail forward. Believe me, everybody has gone on their first appointment. I remember mine. I had no idea what I was doing, what I was talking about, but I did my best to just, you know, pretend like I knew what I was talking about. And you should do the same. You know, nobody's going to be perfect. Nobody's going to be a professional on their first uh, crack at anything. That goes with anything. You've got to start somewhere. So don't be afraid to slip up and make mistakes. We all do it. Sorry, camera died, so I had to switch to the phone to finish this thought. But don't be afraid to make any mistakes. Everybody has done it. We've all been there. Um, just take action. That's really all it takes. Make the phone calls, set some appointments, and do the best you can. Put your best foot forward, and good things will happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, please. If anybody has any questions or comments, feel free to ask down below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Appreciate it, guys, and I'll see you soon.